This is 1999 W Gold Washington $5. A bullion coin graded as MS70 by PCGS. A lustrous superb gem with intricate striking definition and immaculate surfaces. The gold commemorative was struck 200 years after George Washington's death. According to Jamie Hernandez the obverse depicts George Washington's motif similar to the one used for Washington quarters. However Washington's bust is facing right on the Washington commemorative as opposed to facing left as seen on Washington quarters. The reverse of the coin features a prominent perched eagle on top of several arrows with its wings fully extended. The eagle has 13 stars above its head symbolizing the original 13 states. This superb gem ended up selling for $1,320. Number 7. 1980 Lincoln Cent. Graded as MS67 Plus Red by PCGS. According to website of grading service, the 1980p Lincoln Cent is very common as the US Mint struck over 7.4 billion examples. Examples up to MS66 condition are easy to locate. In MS67 they are scarce. Anything grading higher than MS67 is considered rare. This MS67 Plus gem fetched a sum of $2,400. Number 6. 2000 P. Jefferson Nickel struck on a 2000 Lincoln cent. A double denomination error graded in mint state 65 red by PCGS. This full red gem shows a bold cent date on the nifty location of the bridge of Jefferson's nose, as if the cent date was a pair of reading glasses. The nickel date and mint mark are virtually complete. Lincoln is nearly vertical relative to Jefferson, and both presidents gaze west. It was sold for $3,120. Number 5. 1973 S. Kennedy Half Dollar Double Struck. Graded as PR64 Ultra Cameo by NGC. A spectacular proof Kennedy Half Dollar error showing the planchet expanded from multiple strikes out of collar. All design elements and border legends are visible, moderately centered on the planchet. This deeply reflective piece is sharply detailed and brilliant, showing strong contrast in addition to the visual interest of the error. It was sold for $3,120. Number 4. 1971 No S. Jefferson Nickel. Graded as PR69 Deep Cameo by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, proof-only nickels were made in 1971, all at the San Francisco Mint. An oversight at the Philadelphia Mint resulted in the S. Mint mark being left off the dies used to strike 1971 proofs. Bowers writes in his 2007 guide book of Buffalo and Jefferson Nickels, it is not known how many S. Less proofs were made, but the estimate of 1,655 coins from the mint should be subtracted from the overall mintage of 3,220,733. This PR69 offering is fully struck and yields pronounced field motif contrast. An unobtrusive tick on Jefferson's cheek will help to identify the coin. This highly sought-after error coin ended up selling for $3,720. Number 3. 1990 No S Cent. Graded as PR69 Red Deep Cameo by PCGS. Most 1990 NOS proof Lincoln cents are red with deep or ultra cameo contrast. However, a minority of these pieces grade PR69. This top grade example is essential for the registry set collector. Needle sharp design elements with frosty copper pink luster contrast dramatically against liquid like mirroring in the fields, and the preservation is virtually flawless. It was sold for $4,920. Number 2. 1971 D. Ike Dollar. Graded as MS67 Plus by PCGS. The first year Denver Mint Ike Dollar was a high mintage affair, and many examples remain in mint state. But at the MS67 Plus level, the issue becomes an important conditional rarity. This lustrous and practically pristine superb gem displays pastel powder blue and straw gold toning. It was sold for $6,000. Number 1. This is 2000p Sacagawea dollar coin with 2000 Lincoln sent from the Cheerios promotion. As a promotion, in the year 2000, a number of newly minted 2000p Sacagawea dollars were placed inside boxes of General Mills Cheerios cereal, to be found by random purchasers of the breakfast food. The same thing was done with 2000 Lincoln cents, but in far greater number, there is nothing special about the 2000 Lincoln cents from the Cheerios promotion but it was discovered that some of the Sacagawea dollars placed in the cereal boxes had extra detailing on the eagle's tail feathers when compared to regular circulation strikes. 
This premium gem example of the so-called Cheerios dollar is sharply struck and displays bright brass gold luster with semi-proof-like fields. The tail feather detail is visible to the unaided eye. Includes the accompanying 2000 Lincoln sent from the same cereal box as the dollar, graded MS64 red PCGS. This lot fetched a sum of $4,560 at auction. That's all folks. Please make sure to hit subscribe and like buttons before you watch another video on YouTube. Take care and God's will, see you in the next episode.